For the aesthetic of this game, you know, quite honestly, it does not have its head up its ass, but it could. Okay, I should probably have thought that through. Okay, what's the point of this? Where am I going? Repair the, repair the three attractions. Okay, I don't even know. So, oh, it would knock me up there. That's fine. I think I time it perfectly. No, I think he made does this in order. Whatever, fuck you, dude. I hate you. Huh. Here are the three attractions. Okay. Has anyone seen the princess puppet? We can't really start the story without her. That sounds like daddy. See that gnome hiding back there? I know she's around here somewhere. Oh, Lord. Ah, there she is. Once upon a time, there was a princess who lived in a castle with her father, the king. The king loved her very much because that was the concept. Her Unfortunately, the kingdom also had an ogre who was eating travelers like, because as a friend. So the king did what kings do and promised that Defer. anyone who slew the ogre would get to marry his only daughter, the princess and become king when he died. The <laughs> Used his child as sexual collateral. Away, and the ogre was very large, so only one knight showed up. His name was Fred, and he fell immediately in love with the princess. Fred was a brave knight, and he marched off the next morning, singing a brave song as loudly as he could. Compensating. After several days had passed, the yeah, princess got to wondering what had happened to her future husband. He dead. So she set off into the forest to look for him. The princess tracked Fred's footprints through a strange wilderness full of scary sounds and hidden dangers. Chasms and then she filled with razor sharp the over curb stomped him. Yeah, Fortunately, right. she was a very brave princess who loved adventures. Just like you. She used her wits to get past <sighs> Used her jumping skills. This is all lies. Children, lies. She came to a wide river. No! Oh god! Snapping crocodiles. She Fucking pitfall this bitch. So what do you think she did? She buried them with their heads. That's right. It was a magical forest where the plants seemed to know each other. She had to use magic mushrooms to get high. Er up. <laughs> oh, I love it. Did you hear that? <laughs> high. Er up. Yep. That was less than subtle. Yeah, there's an order, I know. I'm just being stupid, sir. I was having fun stepping on them. Oh, yeah, wrong one again. I keep forgetting. Which one is doing what? I do the dash, can I? I'm not through it. Wait here. She 
she learned to use some bendy tree branches to fling herself across a patch of deadly sharp bamboo. That was just a trick. The whole thing you just need to do is stay As on the edge the of that one. Setting, she came to the giant ogre's campsite. Pretty much. And there, the princess discovered it. that the ogre had captured Frey and hung him from a tree as a snack. The ogre okay. did not appreciate visitors at all. Even Fred seemed a little embarrassed to see her. I imagine. Don't. I would tell that ogre he needs to beat me with that club. But the princess no was a woman of action, and she was nimble. And the ogre was clumsy. Was retarded. Easy to talk. What's a taunt? That's when you make fun of someone. You should never make fun of people, but did I ogres, die? sometimes you have to. <laughs> I guess I did. That was very really weird. That was kind of wonky right there. Not really sure what to say about that. Over here, bro. Come on. Oh, sh uh. How did I get him to turn around last time? Okay. Uh, okay, he reached a little further retarded. this time. What's your lag like? Is it like two or three? Like, like a quarter of a second or something? Something like that. No, longer than that. Ooh, that's not good. Ah oh, shit! I keep fucking myself up. Wait a minute. What kind of a sneaky trick was that? I know, I'm, I'm having issues here. I see that. Ah! Oh, why do I keep pressing that stupid button? Hit here. Right here. The gnome. Hit the gnome. Hit here. Yes. That's, I, I, something happened last time that was really fucking weird. I don't really understand what happened last time. And so the princess tricked the ogre and rescued Fred. Fred didn't feel too good about it. He really loved the princess. Fortunately, the king told him about a giant spider that he could slay in order to win the Fred princess's hand. Fred himself. So Fred marched off to the lair of the giant spider singing a brave song a little less loudly than before okay after several days had passed the princess got to wondering what had happened to her future Dude, are you serious he went so off to that fucking dungeon in diablo 3 with the spiders fred's footprints led her into a dark and creepy cavern full of strange dripping sounds kind of like the basement at school her footsteps echoed and echoed and and then Unfortunately, death. she impaled herself on the bamboo. <laughs> Wait, that's not what happened. Soon, she came to a vast pit filled with vicious, deadly spikes. It was much too big to jump over, but far off, she could hear moaning. She thought it might be Fred. So what do you think she did? I know, I know. What? She is an umbrella. What? Like that nanny. In that movie? You are no longer my child. This is the Middle Ages, honey. Where would she get an umbrella? I don't know, but that's what she used. I don't... I... I don't think I have an umbrella. Well, you better find one, because she used an umbrella. Where am I supposed to get an umbrella? Bumper shoot. Oh, uh, there we go. So, the princess bravely threw herself into the air, slowing her fall using an umbrella. Just like that nanny in the movie. She knew they didn't come out for another 20 years. into the cave. Deeper and deeper into the cavern she floated. She thought she could hear Fred moaning. But maybe it was only the wind. Thank God for all that practice in Super Mario World. Ah, oh, whoops. Unfortunately, she impaled herself on the bamboo. Wait, that's not what happened. Deeper and deeper into the cavern she floated. 
She thought she could hear Fred. Oh, look what you did. Look what you fucking did. Weenus, you Wait, fucking failed me again. No, that's all you, buddy. Okay. I think another five minutes, deeper, we'll take a break. We'll go watch she floated. She thought American she could hear Fred moaning. Horror story, whatever the thing is. Oh, the wind. We've done this before about an hour, actually. Okay, so... Am I just supposed to get up there with the spider? On the Wait, that's not what happened! Was I supposed to get down to the web? I mean, what was I supposed to be doing? Deeper and deeper into the cavern she floated. She thought she could hear Fred moaning. But maybe it was only the wind. Yeah, I think you're supposed to get the web. There's no way you can make that angle. Finally, she landed softly. Right in a spider's web! Fortunately, it was a very old web, and she was able to break free. Unfortunately, the web was the only thing holding up a giant boulder. Wait, how is that? The work? princess needed to find somewhere to hide. How about this spike? Damn, this level. Oh, this button. This motherfucking left mouse. After all these years of service, it's betraying me now. Suddenly, a what? Giant spider jumped out of the shadows and attacked her. She ran and climbed and jumped and climbed. But the giant spider was very good at climbing too. It's very it close behind. That would have rhymed. only had two. Damn it, spider! Come on, guy. actually a lot more difficult than it looks. That's all I would say. Fuck you and your jumps, your gravity, and this fucking shadow shit. start. Oh, okay, never mind. Fortunately, the princess remembered how the webs were holding up boulders. Finally, she found Fred. He was all wrapped up like a present for the giant spider's girlfriend. He was dreadfully embarrassed about having to be rescued again. He really loved the princess. The princess decided he was cute. Fortunately, the king told him about a dragon that he could really? play in order to win the princess's hand and stop being so embarrassed. So Fred marched off to the mountaintop of the dragon, singing a brave song, very quietly. After a few days, the princess got to wondering... Why her dad kept trying to give her away? That too. But she was worried about Fred, so she went off to find him. Okay, I think that'll be it for now. Come back to this game a bit later on.